Okay, um, if I was gonna be solving a problem like this, what it wants us to do is it wants us to find the intersection of the two points. So what we're gonna need to do is see when will these two equations you know, equal each other? When will they cross? So what we'll look at is you know, if we said something like this, okay, where are their points gonna be exactly the same? So if you think of this, here's your y and here's your x, right? So what I'm saying is at this intersection point, the x value and the y value are going to equal each other for both, e, um, for both equations. So what I'm saying is what we're going to do is we have two different equations. We want to find when does the x value equal the y value. So, Mrs. Garvin, would you please come to the main office? Mrs. Garvin, please come to the main office and not go to R9, Portal R9. Also. Officer Smith, would you please come to the conference room? Would you please come to the principal's conference room? Officer Smith. Uh, okay, um, so then to go and figure this out, what we're going to have to do. Video? Yeah. Just come by and say hi. I want to see what you're doing right now. Okay. We're doing intersections of two lines. Oh, well, you can sit down. I'll be all done with the video in two seconds. Thank you for showing me what you're doing. Um, so then what we're going to want to do is here, let's solve for y. So if I subtract the x on both sides, I get y equals a negative x plus 3. Okay? So now, if I want to set these equal to each other, right, I want to say, well, I know that the, my y values have to be the same for both of these equations. My two y values have to be exactly the same. So therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this equation into the other one. So I'll obtain 3x minus... 2 times negative x plus 3 equals 4. All right? Then what I can do is when the y values are the same, meaning I plugged one y value into the other one, I can find when will the x values be the same. So I'll use distributive property to give me 3x plus a 2x. Negative 2 times negative x gives you positive 2x. Uh, minus 6 equals 4. Combine my like terms to give me 5x. Minus 6 equals 4. Add 6. 5x equals 10. Divide by 5. x equals 2. So what that tells me is when my y values are equal to each other, my x value is equal to 2. So now the next thing I need to do is now, well, if x equals 2, what is my y value for both those problems? So let's go and um, take a look at that. What I can do is I can plug 2 um, in for x and figure out what my y is going to be. So I'm going to plug it into both equations so you guys can see that when x equals 2, my y values are going to be exactly the same. And that also will figure out what the y value is. So I plug in 2 plus y equals 3. Subtract 2, y equals 1. And we'll say that value is 1. Or you could have plugged it in this equation. 3 times 2 minus 2y equals 4. 3 times 2 is... 6 minus 2y equals 4. Subtract 6. Negative 2y equals a negative 2. Divide by negative 2. y equals 1. So again, remember, when you're dealing with intersection, you want to set your equations equal to each other. Plug one equation in for the other. So y equals x minus 3. So therefore, I'm going to plug that in. Solve for my one variable x. Then once I know the value of x where the two equations meet, I can plug that into either one of the equations, and I'll find the y value for when the two equations meet. And that's how you find the intersection of two points.